All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. I'm here with Dave Pavlik of Arsenal Democracy, and he's going to show us the AD Glock Mod pistol. So here we go. This is it right here. This is actually off of a Generation 3 Glock 17. It features our, uh, our new trigger. This was uh, about six months in the making. We designed it out of uh, 7075 T6 aluminum. Some different geometry there, uh, as you can see. That's meant to maximize the efficiency of your pull. It's a straight back pull. Positive, yet no take up. It's there is no take up. It's literally off, then on. Um, so I can actually demo, make sure that the pistol's clear. Right, take the positive pull. But, yeah, short reset, what about an eighth of an inch reset? About an eighth of an inch and it pulls at 3.5 pounds. It's very right. crisp. All the safety, all the Glock safety features in place. As you can see, so as I get it back charged, it does have a Glock safe action trigger safety. Right. That's also made out of 7075 T6 aluminum. And it works in exactly the same way. The trigger will not pull unless that is depressed. Yes, I pulled it. I, it it's really cool. You got You got to pull it to appreciate it. There was a lot of uh, a lot of thought that went into the geometry just of this piece. Uh, the actual trigger bar itself, we polish off all of the uh, all of the burrs, the stamp marks, and then the actual bushing that fits around the trigger pin is uh, an actual oil impregnated bushing bearing grade and we feel that makes a lot of difference especially in the flex left to right there is very little movement totally solid and then you've got a grip job here uh, that's a really nice uh, stippling that's a real kind of micro stippling sort of yep we do uh, we do a micro stippling it's it's similar to uh, almost like a shark skin or a, uh, a sharper kind of suede look and uh, we do the grip reduction. Obviously, uh, most people do uh, the Duke Lock packages will do that. They'll take their finger grooves off. We always uh, do an undercut. In this case, we do a double undercut for uh, your support hand. The main thing we like to do is uh, increase the efficiency of, of how you shoot the Glock with modern training methods. So you have your support hand. You want to get your support hand higher. Uh, your, your main hand and then your support hand higher up here. That just means some more support and you have a higher bore axis to control recoil, mm -hmm. and it makes a ton of difference over just a standard Glock grip would be right about here, and then your support hand would be right about here. Right, and then, you, and then for uh, racking the slide, you've got uh, essentially instead of serrations, you have that same stippling up front. That's right, I mean, uh, so we've got, uh, for our slide modification, we take 45 degrees off either side, uh, that kind of frames the sights, and what it also does is it, we're able to lose probably about 25, 30 grams, so almost an ounce um, off of weight there. And then on the slide itself, we mill into the slide um, that's probably about 25 to 30 thousand steep. Right. We go ahead and take off the rear serrations and then mill in here and in here. And then during the Cerakote process, we mix in aluminum oxide um, just in those areas there. And so that creates, once we Cerakote back over it, that creates a rough texture similar to a grip tape, but it's a permanent grip tape. Mm -hmm. And it's something that, uh, as you can see, it's flush with the slide. So yeah, it's, holsters, it's, hard to, it's hard to see it in this light, but it's, I holster. got it before. I got it when you're holding the gun this way. Yeah, it's a little easier to see it. That, yeah, there we can see it. So a holster won't actually wear that off because it will ride on the top bearing surface and not on the actual part. That and this is all very minimalist. You know, this is minimalist work for a working gun. It is minimalist. Um, we took uh, we took a lot of feedback from a lot of the, some of the flashier mods, the, the, the actual uh, serrations, portholes, things like that. Mm -hmm. The guys who actually use these guns for work, for duty use, uh, for military use, um, based on how we train and how we, uh, we use stuff when we were on the teams, we made this something that is all business. I mean, it is still sexy looking. It's very black tie, but it is business. And you're running a doctor optic on it with uh, iron sights. It is a doctor optic. We prefer the doctor optic uh, to some of the other uh, mini red dot sights out there. For one, it, it doesn't overhang over the slide. It fits the Glock slide perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, it has a, a great battery life. 
Uh, it's, uh, it's able to handle the recoil of all the way up to 45 and beyond, and it is SOCOM approved. Um, these are the same uh, Dr. Optics that ride on top of the Elkans that go on the 240 Bravo, M249s. And it's rugged. It is super rugged. And if you have to one, let's say if you have to one hand rack it, you can do it you with that. You absolutely can. Um, rack it one handed, you can rack it off of your belt, you can rack it off of a, a tire tread or anything else. Gotcha. And uh, we've actually, when we do a Dr. Optic mill, we mill it down to the, the what we found to be the perfect height to uh, co witness with um, iron sights. Yeah. Um, we don't believe or advocate in a Dr. Optic alone. The Dr. Optic alone. Uh, you'll find that uh, a guy will start fishing for it. Mm -hmm. well, and also, what if it goes out? On you? And if it goes out, you are pretty much up right. the creek. And you got so you, you got, got yeah. Go ahead. You got all three of these sites. Um, you're able to use them in conjunction. We found from zero to 25 meters, um, you're able. You're pretty much just using your iron sights. You're not even focusing on that red dot. Mm -hmm. When you're going from 25 meters out to 100, 150, 200 meters, then you're utilizing that red dot to go ahead and hold you know, your, your, your perfect hold for your distance. So 100 meters, you'd be holding right about top of the head. 150, 200 meters, you're holding maybe two to three feet above the head, and you're, you're making that good high chest shot. All right, and then you've got a threaded barrel here for a suppressor. For this a is a Glock OEM uh, threaded barrel, so it is a metric thread, but um, we do offer threaded barrels from, uh, from Storm Lake that utilize uh, the more common one half by 28 threads right. uh, or 0.578 if it's a 45. Right. And they do good work, so. They do great work. Their QPQ barrels are, uh, are pretty awesome. Well, very cool. The uh, Arsenal Democracy Glock Mod package and uh, you're watching defensereview.com. Thank you very much. SHOT Show 2015.